this is the course reference a good uh, reference to a start finite element programming finite element method in electromagnetics and as you can see here the the content the first chapter of the this reference this uh, book is uh, about one dimensional boundary value problems and the second chapter is uh, for two dimensional boundary value problems so uh, here in the first chapter uh, an electrostatic problem is discussed so uh, in this chapter we will learn the Gullerkin approach and we will write a MATLAB code to implement that approach uh, to solve a specific problem and compare the analytic solution with the finite element solution the problem the sample problem the benchmark problem is this one you can see the problem definition here right so again i say here we are going to use finite element method for an electrostatic problem as you know uh, for anal analyzing of electric machines we should implement the finite element method for uh, magnetic problem magnetostatic or magnetodynamic right but because the differential equations are the same so the procedure is the same if you learn this uh, the procedure for electrostatic you can extend it for magnetostatic or even other physical uh, equations uh, for example a heat transfer or noise right so here you can see the uh, pro this problem this benchmark problem uh, we have two infinite parallel conducting plates infinite conducting plates here uh, here you can see also the x-axis of the coordinate right x-axis the voltage of the first plate the left hand side plate is equal to v naught and the voltage of the right hand side plate is equal to zero we attached uh, this plate uh, to the ground right also we have uh, the region between these two parallel plates are filled with uh, a medium with a medium by uh, by the, the the electric constant epsilon r right and also we have a uniform charge density rho v is equal to minus rho naught so this is the problem definition we are going to calculate the potential electric potential and electric field inside this region right so this is the problem we can solve this problem analytically or using numerical methods for example finite element method okay so the aim is to calculate the solution and compare as you can see here this uh, in this image uh, we have electric field potential distribution in in the solution region calculated by exact method and finite element method so we can compare the uh, correctness of the derived solutions right solutions so is the problem clear or do you have any questions about the problem
definition. It is clear. Okay. So let's uh, solve this uh, problem analytically. Analytically, this is not uh, too complex because, as you can see, the geometry is simple. The geometry is simple. This is a one dimensional problem. And you can write uh, this uh, equation here. We have this uh, field equation gradient of epsilon r gradient v is equal minus uh, rho v charge distribution electric uh, charge divided by epsilon not epsilon uh, zero that is the permittivity of the eight gap right so uh, we have two boundary conditions we have two boundary conditions the value of voltage at this point the value of voltage for x equal to zero is equal v v naught and the value of uh, voltage for uh, x equal to d is equal to zero the value of voltage we have these two boundary conditions so because the medium here is uh, homogeneous linear and isotropic uh, we can translate this equation into this form right that is a differential equation second order differential equation second de derivative of v uh, in respect with uh, x is equal rho naught divided by epsilon r epsilon uh, zero. Uh, the value of rho v is given uh, in the problem definition that is equal to minus rho naught. So we have uh, this equation. You can uh, do twice integration uh, of this equation, right? To obtain the exact solution, right? So if you do twice integration, uh, you can calculate Vx potential, uh, electric potential as a function of x uh, using this equation. That is a second order uh, equation. And you know, we have two constants, C0, C1 and C0 two constants right that we should uh, determine their values determine their values how we can determine the, their values using the boundary conditions using the boundary mm -hmm. conditions we have uh, we have a uh, different kind of boundary conditions in electromagnetic uh, problems fixed uh, here boundary conditions are fixed voltage sometimes you have you know the value of electric field tangential or normal component right but uh, here the solution variable the solution variable our interest is finding the voltage voltage distribution and uh, we know the value of the solution variable directly on boundaries. So that this type of uh, boundary condition is called, uh, is known as essential uh, boundary conditions. So if you, for example, use this equation and place, uh, and instead of x, if you place zero in this equation, we have zero here, zero here, and the value of C naught, C zero, is equal V zero, right? Correct. And if you place D in this equation, and you know that the value of V is zero, for uh, X, is, X equal to the D, you can calculate C one. So this is the, 
analytic solution we have the exact solution of this problem right exact solution so you we calculated the v electric uh, vector uh, v that is the uh, potential distribution voltage distribution so we can calculate uh, electric field that is uh, negative of gradient of v so uh, this mm -hmm. is the value of electric field at each point at each x so uh, 